As some of you might know, I'm currently working on my master thesis. I want to get a master of science and finally make my own math simulator. Therefore, I'm building this new VR controller, aka lightsaber, aka vibrator that has dozens of motors attached to it for spatial haptic feedback. I already implemented the ability to find invisible objects by getting haptic feedback on where this object is and using the force, which is just epic and should be done in probably every game. But as you can see, this currently looks awful. So it was time to polish things up. I found that awesome sci-fi pack in the Unity asset store and thought that this would fit very good. So it was time to build the first level of my game. I wanted to start with using the force because epic. But I needed a way to select the object you want to use the force on. So ray casting. No, no, no not that ray. This ray. The goal is to move the orb at the right location to open the door. The force can be used to move stuff in all directions and rotate it around every angle. My controller will help the player to get this done correctly. But since vibration is very hard to visualize, you have to imagine how it feels. <laughs> it's working like a parking system. The closer you get to the correct position, the more it will vibrate. The vibration also spatially tells you the direction you have to move the object. For example, if you have to move the orb to the left, then the controller will vibrate on the left side. And the other way around, obviously. After you open the door, the level continues and you can move in the station to admire the beauty of the outer space. And for some reason you must move this plant at the correct place to open the next door. Don't ask. The second level is super interesting for you. Yeah, it's just dark and you can't see anything. But my controller will guide the player through this horror game. I, I don't know why this is suddenly a horror game, but uh, yeah, here it is. I know, I know, epic YouTube content. But the next level is interesting again. I found some nice alien models as well as awesome sci-fi weapons in the asset store. And here they are. Let's admire them in VR. Since shooting in VR is just great, I kind of had to implement that. Yay! Shooting aliens haven't seen this before. But let me tell you, some polishing and this feels great. I just quickly implemented a wave system and here we have a decent alien shooting level. But Yannick, what has this epic level to do with your controller? I'm glad you asked. The vibration on the controller will tell the player where the next enemy is coming from. We will investigate if the new controller helps to shift the attention of the player to the new locations faster. When this game is done, I will have a version with the new controller and without the new controller. I will investigate if the player has better force precision, if one-handed tactile feedback is enough to blindly walk through a maze, if spatial vibration leads to faster attention shifting and if the new controller increases the immersion and the fun for the player. After writing the thesis, we will publish a scientific paper on this, so Mr. Vive can see this and thinks, wow, this is so awesome, we shall build our next controller based on this. And the new Vive X Pro Super Haptic Control controller will be based on my work. Or maybe not. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it, you should subscribe and ring the bell now because more epic content is coming like this. Um, where I made another VR game or this, whichever this is, this is what YouTube will recommend you and, and YouTube is smart so you should definitely watch this and turn in for the next video. Bye.